hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i want to do something a little different instead of doing like a shop my stash i want to do a what's in my makeup bag pretty much everything that i'm going to put in this bag right here is all of the makeup that i am going to wear for the entire month of October. We want to focus on a few products because I'm constantly trying things out and a lot of products kind of just get left behind. So this is a chance for me to really test out some things longer than a week or two, like really just wear these items for a month to really get an idea and to be for sure that I actually like all the products that's going in this bag. And by the way, I did pick up this um, toiletry bag from Amazon. This is not a replica. Cause I think replicas usually have the name on it. This does not have the Louis Vuitton name on it. This is just kind of like a checkered print or inspired bag. And it looks very realistic. It's red on the inside. And I will have this link below if anybody's interested. Or interested in this bag, definitely get it before it's gone. I've been seeing a lot of reviews pop up on YouTube and also Instagram on my timeline. It's a nice size bag. When I first ordered it, I thought it was going to be smaller, but when it came in the mail this size, I was shocked. At first, I was about to send it back, but I'm just like, you know what? Let me keep it. But anything that's going in this bag is pretty much makeup that I'm going to be wearing every day to work out outside of my normal beauty review. So let's just get started we'll start with primers and i have two primers that i'm going to be focusing on and the first one is the ysl instant matte primer y'all already know this is one of my favorite primers so i am going to of course be using this and i kind of want to finish this up and i have one more primer and this is the silk primer from gucci i've had this for a while and it's just time to wear it um i'm noticing like i'm not too crazy about any gucci beauty products outside of their lipstick like the foundation i don't really care for the primer i don't really care for it, but i want to wear them instead of just letting them sit and collect dust or expire on me so this is what i will be using as a primer as well and for foundation, I really want to wear the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I've been wearing this a lot to work lately, and I really like how um, long-lasting this is. This looks good all day. After eight hours, my face looks pretty good, so um, I want to wear this as well. And another foundation I really want to wear is the... Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I have the shade 11. I tried this out a few months ago for Foundation Friday and I don't think I've worn it that much so I just felt like now's the time to wear it because I felt like this looks really nice on my skin so. And speaking of Gucci, this is the foundation. I'm not too crazy about it like I just mentioned so I want to of course wear it because i think i've had it almost a year and i really don't want this to expire on me without getting good use out of it because i get questions about this sometimes and i really don't remember <laughs> i just know i wasn't too crazy about it so i kind of want to make sure i wear this a lot more before i just be telling anybody like don't get it or get it you know and i have one skin tint and this is the la mer Radiant Skin Tint with SPF 30, and I have the shade Deep 52. So this is for days when I really don't want to put a full face of makeup on. And for concealer, I think this month I am just going to be using the Chanel Concealer. This is not one of my favorites. I've worn it a few times. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I really feel like this is one that I have to really watch how I set it because if not, I will crease with this right away. So I kind of want to finish this up. And I'm going to be putting my two Holy Grail concealers in that bag as well. And of course, it is from Givenchy and the Armani concealer. These two are absolute must. I have to wear these. And for powders this month, I am going to be using the Huda Beauty. Um, powder in the shade Kanafa. This is one of my favorite powders at the moment. And I'm also going to be using the Dior No Powder Powder. This is nice as well, but is it one of my favorites? No, but 
I do want to get some more use out of it instead of just having it sitting. And I am going to be using the shade 5 in neutral. And also I want to use the Tatcha Silk um, Radiant Powder. This is a nice one, but is it a favorite of mine? So no, but it just been sitting the last few months. So why not use it? And I have one more powder from Gucci. This is their pressed powder. I really want to use this. I've almost had this for two years, I think. So I really need to hurry up and start using this before it expires. And I don't really wear eyeshadow like that, but I do want to finish using the Dior Amber Neutrals Backstage Palette. This is just perfect for days when I kind of want to put a little color on my lid. I've had this for a while and I really do like this palette. And I have one more eyeshadow and this is from Tom Ford. This is one of their cream shadows and this is in the shade Obsidian. And for bronzers, I think I'm going to start using up this Gucci bronzer. I have the shade four and five, but I think I'm going to focus on five this month. Um, this is not one of my favorite bronzers at all. I feel like this particular shade is too red on me. It almost looks like blush. This is definitely a product that I feel like I rushed and bought because of the name, because I don't like this bronzer like at all. I hardly ever use it and this bronzer I have not been able to put down since I got it over the summer this is the makeup by Mario bronzer and I have the shade dark this is what it looks like in the pan do not be fooled by how it looks because this definitely bronzes me up this gives me like a nice natural subtle bronze like I love it I use this almost every day and I also want to use this um, Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder in the shade Flicker. I don't really use the highlight like that. I just use the shade to contour or use it to bronze. But I definitely want to get more use out of it. So this is going in the bag as well. And really quick, I am going to be putting my Dior Pump and Brow in this bag. This is like the only thing I use on my brows outside of the um, Morphe Brow Pencil. And I am going to definitely use my face contour stick from Burberry. This is a contour stick, eyeshadow, lip liner, anything you want this to be, this is that. <laughs> and I'm going to use one eyeliner this month, and this is from Gucci. This is their brown eyeliner in the shade Chocolate. And I have two mascaras that I'm going to be using up. And this is from Merit. This is their mascara, and I actually have... A affiliate link if anyone is interested in purchasing this mascara and this is in the shade pure black also going to be using this um, mascara from YSL this is their radical mascara and this is a sample size so I want to try this out before I go and buy a full size and for blush I'm only going to stick to these three and this is a blush palette from Juvia's place and this is the volume one palette this is what it looks like I really like this color right here this is the perfect coral color it looks so good on dark skin so I really want to get a lot of use out of this and I also want to use this Dolce & Gabbana blush and this is in the shade 310 this is just like a nice berry color on the cheeks I really like this blush this is so pigmented you definitely need a light hand when using this this is one of my favorites lastly I have a blush from Chanel and this is Brun Rouge this is the perfect everyday blush this is one that I wear a lot this is like one of my faves definitely wearing this and I'm going to be using two lip liners and this is a lip liner from Buxom matter of fact let me swatch it I just realized I ain't swatch it for y'all this is what that lip liner looks like this is in the shade um what i just say creamy chocolate and this is from buxom and i'm also going to be using this um lip liner from bite beauty and this is in the shade i believe midnight ride this is a very chocolatey kind of color oh it's very similar 
So these are the two lip liners I am going to be wearing. And as of right now, I just narrowed it down to these three lip products. I really don't think these are going to be the only three I'm wearing this month, but we'll see. Um, and this is from Pat McGrath and this is in the shade Elson. This is a nice blue red. I love wearing this lipstick in the fall. This just looks so pretty. This is what it looks like. It is creamy. It is matte. Y'all know I love a good matte lipstick. And I'm also going to be wearing Tracy Hazel by Gucci. This is just a nice nude shade. This is what that looks like. This is another matte lipstick. And for days where I'm not wearing lipstick, I'm going to be using this YSL lip stain and this is in the shade 203 let's do a quick swatch this is what that looks like hey y'all that is it for what's in my makeup bag for the entire month of october hopefully i stick to just wearing these items because you never know i get distracted by other things and i'm always trying out something but i'm gonna really try hard to just only wear what's in this bag but anyway y'all don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.